All right, hey everyone. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the tires here. I've actually already cleaned the other two. I wanted to see how carport retire works on this side, on that side. I just didn't have enough room to give you guys access to see clean over there. But uh, carport retires, they're dedicated uh, tire and rubber cleaner. So essentially a tire cleaner. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this nozzle. Man, I've already for two tires. I've already you know was filled up to here. Now I'm down to here. You're gonna blow through quite a bit of product with this nozzle. This nozzle is a foamy nozzle. And I'll show you what it does on, on the tire. Now they tell you in the, in the directions to use it to rinse your tires and then um, spray this on there. But because these tires are not like dirty, dirty, uh, I'll just spray it on there and let the foam go to work on the dry tire so let's say let it let it sit for 30 seconds we can see it foams up pretty well coming out of the nozzle the thing is you're going to blow through product with this nozzle and uh so i think with if you're just going to get a 16 ounce bottle uh you may get the, just a couple applications out if you're going to use this foamy nozzle just kind of keep that in mind but um it does its thing pretty fast you can i don't know if you can see that it's turning uh, brown already um you know you don't have to cover the entire tire because we're going to scrub it we can see it starts turning brown rather quickly and the foam one thing benefited from the foam is that it uh clings to the surface here and of course they tell you spray you know some on their on your brush this is a tough shine tire brush i'll link that in the video in the description below as well uh, so we'll just kind of let it sit there for a little bit you know you can see the bubbles kind of doing its thing okay so i'm going to scrub it and you'll see how brown they get I mean, it does work. You can see that it's turning brown. I'm going to rinse my brush off because I'm going to rinse the tire. Uh, the other tires took two rounds of cleaning with the tire cleaner. So I'll rinse this off. You can see, still see some dripping down here and it's still black. Okay, put that down. I'm gonna go ahead and do a second round just to show you that it does come up with white suds. I'm not gonna use as much this time. I'm not even gonna bother spraying it on the brush. And there it is. So, I mean, got the tires clean, suds are white. And when the suds are white, that means that your uh, tires are clean and I can rinse it off at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and wash the wheels as well. Uh, I'll just kind of show you the wash process here. It's pretty straightforward for that, but primarily, um, well, let me just show you, cause this, then I'll just end this review. The CarPro XL brush works good at getting into your lug nuts here. Uh, and then on the edges is what I normally use the brush for to get any uh, caked on uh, dirt. And so that's pretty much it for the two products that I wanted to review for the wheel washing process. I'm going to just go ahead and knock the rest of the tire out, but I just want to I mean, the wheel and tire out. But I just want to give you an idea of what the product is capable of if you have real dirty tires again you're probably going to go blow through product i've already blown through almost half of that bottle just with that foamy nozzle which it's nice because the foam sticks to the the tire but it's also a downfall because you're going to use more product that way um so i'll probably end up blowing through this bottle with uh, cleaning the tires on the grand prix 
to prep them for a um, new tire dressing. So from here, uh, you can actually prep it for uh, tire dressing like CarPro Pearl or whatever water-based tire dressing you like, or the new tire, uh, CarPro Seacourse Blackout if you wanted to do it that way. So hope this gives you an idea of the cleaning ability from uh, Retire from CarPro. I think right now, the, uh, just using it, I think it's a solid product, doing its job and cleaning the tires. Uh, is it better than Shine Supply Wise Guy? Uh, that's up in the air because Wise Guy really impressed me on their Grand Prix. But uh, overall, uh, so far so good with the tire cleaner. Uh, I haven't found any issues with it other than the nozzle is going to give you. Um, it's not going to give you many applications because the, the foamy nozzle is going to use up more product. Uh, if I switch up over to a spray nozzle, which I'm going to try over here with just a regular spray nozzle, we'll see if it works in the same capacity. So maybe I'll show, I'll do that, and I'll give you an idea of what it look, what it works, how it works with that type of nozzle. All right, so let me just go ahead and knock this one out, and then um, yeah, we'll get to the Grand Prix. All right, so I switched to the iPhone because I'm going to bring you in closer. <clears throat> Again, I'm recovering from a cold, so if I sound a little funny, it's, that's because uh, I'm getting over it. Um, overall, Carpa Retire is very impressive. I think it cleans well. It seems to be pretty potent. And, you know, I, I would say it's on par with, like, the Tough Shine Tire Cleaner. And um, seems to be on par with Shine Supply Wise Guy, which I have Wise Guy delivered one-to-one. Uh, so it seems to be... Um, equivalent to those twos, which is really impressive for a tire cleaner because now the tires prep for a tire dressing or a tire coating. The only drawback I, I have with this product is the nozzle. This is a foamy nozzle and I blew through half the bottle. This is a 16.9 ounce bottle or a 500 milliliter bottle. And so I blew through half of it already with this nozzle. So I'm going to try swapping out the nozzle to a non-foamy nozzle. And we'll see if it has the same type of cleaning ability if it's not foamed. Um, you know, because it's not going to, this has that foaming capability. So you, as you guys saw, it's going to cling to the tire better. We'll try it without a non-foaming nozzle. And we'll see how much product I use with the non-foaming nozzle uh, on, the, on the Grand Prix tires. Um, actually, maybe I'll use that on my dad's. He has bigger tires on the car. So we'll see um, whatever car I choose. We'll see how that nozzle works, but I'll bring you over to the tire. And you can see that I did a good job at leaving the surface prep for a tire dressing, or if I wanted to use C quartz blackout, which I'm not gonna use C quartz blackout because I'm done with tire coatings. Uh, but you can see it's ready for a, a tire dressing and I'm gonna just finish this last tire with the graphene VRT. So overall, I think uh, CarPro Retire is a real nice product i think if you have access to this product definitely give it a shot i think you'll be impressed with how well it does uh, play around with the nozzle see what you think and i'll post a link of where you can purchase this and uh, yeah overall i think I'm, um, it's a good product so um, thanks for watching if you have any comments or questions go ahead and post them down below and um, yeah stay tuned for the next one thanks for watching